Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Peak and Flow podcast. My name is Dave Nixon. Uh, today I'm going to actually talk about a really simple process that I've found to be exceptionally beneficial for how I structure my day. Now, I have owned my business, uh, Functional Fitness Australia, for nearly 13 years. I've, uh, I run Peak and Flow, which is obviously what this podcast is based off. Peak and Flow is a a training and performance brand, really training education company that does coaching, consulting, retreats, and similar. And uh, really the, the, what that's pointing to is uh, peak performance and flow states. Now, the reason I share that with you is that I don't have anyone that structures my day. And so that means that I technically have to structure my day. And over the years, I've had different ways that I've structured that and different values, I guess, different priorities. Uh, as I've matured, uh, better turn 35 in a couple of weeks, but she was on an age, I guess, she was a, to do with experience. Um, to where I'm at today, there's a really simple framework I found to be exceptionally effective for how I structure my day. And rather than it being a certain like morning routine or a certain um, KPI, I actually structure my day into three different compartments. The first one's aspire, the second is fire, and the third is inspire. And so the way that that works is that my mornings are actually associated with reading and writing. And so I'm reading, I'm I'm listening to other people's content. I'm actually doing things that are somewhat aspirational. Like what is it that I want to learn? What's, what am I moving towards? It's literally aspirational in nature. And so that's actually what the first component of my day is. And so every morning, drop the doggies off to the gym to, to, to work, um, do a couple of things there quickly. And then I head to the cafe, order a coffee commonly have breakfast there as well and that's my morning where I get to literally read consume some different content and have some sort of educational approach to my day and that's how I structure that morning it's aspirational and so that can look a variety of different ways but that's mainly the core so rather than having this rigid approach of what my day looks like it's more about theming the certain segments of my day and so it's kind of split up into three parts the middle part, firing, is actually me delivering. So it's me delivering coaching or uh, a presentation or webinars. It's some form of delivery con- that I've, I'm, I'm offering to clientele of any sort or I'm going to a workplace to deliver some sort of corporate conversation or whatever the case might be. That's most of my days delivering is actually in the middle of the day, not either side. I don't do mornings in the gym anymore. Very rarely do I. I retired after 17 years of doing them. <laughs> Um, but I've been caught out of retirement to do a few mornings here and there. And I do coach in the evenings as well from time to time, but this is, this all sort of works in between then. So the middle of my day is really about delivering. It's about firing. And so the delivering may also be um, writing proposals. It might be writing um, particular types of emails for clients or something like that, but it's not the creative aspirational type work that my morning is. So my writing is different there. My reading is different there. My learning is different there. And that middle part of the day for me is really delivering what work I need to be doing. The later part of the day is inspiring. And so aspiring, firing, and then inspiring. And inspiring is more about actually producing content. And so that's commonly where I'll do my podcast or where I'll have um, maybe interviews or I do actual posting of writing or posting of content or whatever the case might be but i make sure that i've got that creative outlet of actually delivering on inspirational content and so it's a really simple structure that's worked effectively for me in recent times is that my morning is based aspirational me aspiring then it's based on delivery i found the bulk of my work is better done during the day in the middle part of the day it's not creative i can just deliver and then the end of the day is about making sure I'm giving back. And so that's the, in, you know, anything from our moments webinars, the free webinars that we offer to writing out free content for people to writing out obviously free podcasts or whatever the case might be, making sure that whatever information I can give out for free, I will. And that's really how it works. I think Taki Moore, I've mentioned him a couple of times here, but he said it and I've heard it from somewhere else before, but it's something that I align with heavily is you can have all my information for free. I, I'm not, I, I really don't have any goal of, holding back any form of information if i can package it up for you and give it to you i absolutely will if i can help get it from other people and put it together then i think it should be free you should always have free access to that's my i don't i don't align with some people do and that's fine i people do what they do i don't align with if you know you know there's some some sort of secret group or whatever the case might be the content should somewhat be free. I reckon it's healthy, exceptionally healthy. And if I miss it, I apologize. But my goal is to also always cite 
any form of references, um, you know, quote the source, so to speak. And if I miss that, I apologize. If I ever miss that, call me out on that. I'll, I'll quote it wherever I can. At the same time, making sure, definitely know that I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. T- practically no thought that I have is my own thought. It's a thought on, on, on thoughts, on thoughts, on thoughts, on thoughts. And so I'm exceptionally grateful to be able to stand on the shoulders of giants to be able to do that. And so given that, information should be free pay for implementation really simple if i had somebody take all my content that i've ever produced and improve their life from that and they never paid me a cent great that is exactly what it's designed to do so in saying that though at the same time of course if people want to go down a pathway of working with myself or i say this as well like i'm running that program i've mentioned a few times i'm still going to mention it because it's something it is a program that i'm running in january it's a six-month program if you're interested reach out if you're a gym or a uh, owner of a gym or a manager or you're a coach i'm looking to work with a handful of gyms in the new year as well that i want to teach everything that i can to right so there's a couple of programs there if you're interested reach out and let's find out if we're a good fit otherwise the key thing in all of that is i want to make sure that i'm giving enough information and enough value value is a really loose word but enough information that you could be able to listen to all this and make it your own it should be yours you should sound like you. You shouldn't sound like me. You shouldn't sound like Hormozy or Tony Robbins or whoever else the next person is. You should be able to go, how do I grab this information and make it mine so that I can integrate it into my own body of work? It's that simple. And I'll continue to share a lot of my lessons. Uh, there's a few that I've reflected on in more recent times that I do want to share with you. And, and hopefully, uh, whether you're in a fitness business or whether you're in another business or whether you're in a, considering a career change, you're able to grab this and then make decisions on your own about what's going to benefit you long term. And if we can do that for everyone, then we build a healthier society. It's really that simple. So back to my day, aspirational in the morning. So aspire, fire and deliver during the middle of the day, in the afternoon, inspire. That's the framework that's worked for me more recently. It's allowed me to have a, a really simple framework that I can be both firm and flexible with. And I hope that's of value to you. Anyway, if you are interested and want to learn more about these six month programs or working with gyms like myself, uh, then please, or if you are a gym, sorry, rather, if you're a gym, to gyms listen to this, is your name Jim? And you want to do some work, reach out, let's have a chat. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Um, otherwise, if you found this podcast beneficial, it would mean the world to me if you pass it on to someone else that you think would also find it beneficial. Until next time, if you want to know any information, it's usually in the show notes. Otherwise, peace and pizza. I'll see you soon.